Major Slack Attack. We last left off here at Gatefront Ruins, and um, we got some money. Let's level up. Once again, points into dexterity. And the remaining money. Actually, I think we have some more money. Yes, that's some more money. Your mileage may vary. This may not be enough to buy another level up. I don't believe it will be enough. No, we're short. Okay, so we're going to dump all the rest of this money into arrows. Can never have too much arrows. Too many arrows, rather. All 77. So, we have maxed arrows. 99 arrows at our disposal. This is great. Alright, next. Back to gate front. We want to get our hands on a very important talisman for an archer, and that is the Arrow's Reach Talisman. It is actually directly above us. That's exactly where it is, but we have to take the long way around. We have to pass through Stormgate and um, work our way back through the field and up there and take out some guards. This is Stormgate. Stormgate has this this bad boy here. He's going to drop in as soon as you get go across a certain trigger line there. Um, we don't have the firepower to deal with them now, so what we're going to do instead is take out these archers. There's one, actually there's four archers. One is kind of hidden, but there's one there and there's two more over there. So as we're speed running through, they won't be taking chip shots at us and possibly even knock us off our horse, at which point this bad boy here is going to stomp us to death. We don't want that happening. So let's target these guys and mighty shot. That's one down. This is going to target the guy on the left. If he starts moving from side to side, don't shoot him because you won't, you're just going to miss. Okay, let's take another shot. And down he goes. And finally, this guy here. Don't go forward too much because you're going to spawn the troll. You don't want that. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. If he's on the move, don't go. Or don't shoot. And he's still alive. Down he goes. Okay, and that's it. Call up for mount, and we're going to speed run through. Forget about picking up anything here, because this is going to slow you down. But you can veer off to the, the right here, grab these smoldering butterflies, and these two herba. That was like jumping over that guy. And he's called the horn, so everybody in the monkey's uncle is going to come down on you. Just keep going up to this golden tree here, grab this golden seed, and then turn to the east, and you're going to go out in this field here. And you can see this dead guy on a corpse, like a corpse, <laughs> a dead guy on a corpse. <laughs> There's a smithing stone here, a dead guy sitting in the chair, and that's it, that's everything we want here. So Stormhill Shack is up on those cliffs here, let's go there now. There's lots of good stuff to get there. First thing we want to do is hit up the side of Greece. And we have some flask business to take care of, so let's rest. We picked up a sacred seed earlier on at the third church, so let's go to flask and go to increase amount to replenish by flask. This is really only going to affect our HP for now, because right now our, our FP flask is already maxed out, so this won't really affect that. And go to add charge to flask, that's what golden seeds do, so we can use one golden seed, now we have an extra flask charge. 
so we can allocate flash charges and the game always pumps it into health by default so we don't want that we want only two in health and the rest in fp done and done all right here at the, the storm hill shack there's also a stone sword key this is really important for some an item we're going to get the round table hold to grab that and let's go talk to rodrika this girl Everyone's here Everyone's been grafted Everyone who came with me, they crossed the sea for me, they fought for me, <laughs> only to have their arms taken, their legs taken, even their heads taken, taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know, if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. Oh yeah, sure, everybody knows that. Okay, and we get a new gesture. And let's talk to her some more. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. And one final. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? And she gives us the spirit jellyfish ashes, just like our lone wolf ashes, except this guy's tougher, but he's all by his lonesome. There's, so there's pros and cons between the lone wolf ashes and the spirit jellyfish ashes. This guy also shoots poison too. The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think, the little one. And anything else? It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that despite my craven heart I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing you know no problem okay so thank you very much thanks for the jellyfish it's been a slice let's go out here and wait till daytime and now we're gonna go get that arrows reach talisman and I'm going to show you a great field to farm thin beast bones. For starters, though, here at Stormville Shack or Storm Hill Shack, there's always a pack of wolves that spawns here. Um, best way to deal with them. I'm not going to take them all on with our shield and our rapier. That's just too much. So the best way to deal with them is just go out until you hear the howling, and then double back to the bush. And now they haven't spotted us, and now we can just pick them all off one by one. Make sure you crouch back down after each shot. Stay nice and stealthy. And the last one we can take out with our rapier and the shield to save arrows. Okay, buddy. You're all by your lonesome. Right up, and stabby stabby, and down he goes. And if they gave up anything, these bones, collect them. They did not. Next. We double back the way we came, and go up on the cliffs on the right side. And I'm going to show you a fantastic place to farm thin beast bones to make arrows right here. But I'm not going to do that now, I'm going to leave that until the end. Kind of like a homework assignment. <laughs> Okay, but look at all these sheep here. All of them are going to give up thin beast bones. Right now, our priority is to get the arrow reach talisman out of this tower here. Let's start off up here, and there's three wolves here we want to take care of.
That's one. That's two. Get the rapier up. These are really going to harsh our buzz as we're trying to take out that guy over there. And there's the third one. Might not be able to hit him. Yeah, I didn't, didn't think so. Okay, here we go. At least we got his attention. Come on now. I want you to arch my butt since I'm taking on the guard. Here we go. Stabby, stabby. And down you go. Oh, and you gave us some thin beast bones. Thank you very much. Next. What we want is in that tower there. However. Oops. <laughs> that was Mr. Fumble Fingers. Um, we got to take down this bad boy here. Best thing to do is to... We can park ourselves behind that little brick wall there. And then when he goes back in, we can sneak up behind him and stab him in the back. That won't be enough, even with our remote power sword. But um, we can finish him off with a jumping strong attack. So that's the plan. Get your Lord Sworn's Great Sword, two hand it. Let's get up behind that brick wall there. Wait for it. Let's go for it. Target him. Down he goes. And then back off. We made enough noise that the guys, two more soldiers in there, are probably going to come out and investigate. And if not, you can always hit the wall. And if not, we can just go in and do a stamp uppercut on them. Okay, they're, they're still asleep. There's one on the left. Target. Stamp. Uppercut. Houston, we have lift off. Same thing. See how their swords go right over you? I <laughs> gotta love it. Okay, and what we want is in this chest right here. The Arrows Reach Talisman. Fantastic. Check it out. Equipment, Talisman, and increases bow effective range. Of course we want that. Alright, mission accomplished. Next, let's go back to Stormhill Shack. Storm Hill Shack, if you point to the northeast, it's going to advance a little bit. And you look in the distance there, you see my swords pointing at this troll here. Uh, we don't really have the firepower to take him down, but there is um, a crystal tear in a little dish out there. We're going to go get that. Got to time it right though so that the troll doesn't harass us. In the meantime, kill a few of these sheep. It's the best way to farm sheep. Okay, when the troll starts going that way, we're gonna make we're gonna make a run for it. Let's go for it. You stick to the cliff's edge. That will be kind of like behind him. And keep following the cliff's edge. And this is what we want right here. The strength, not crystal tier. Okay, watch out now. There we go. And keep following the cliff's edge. Right around. Keep going. Down here. Mission accomplished. Find these buildings here, like these kind of like these towers here. I'm going to follow these straight down all along here to this location right here. See this curve here? 
That's where we're going. Let's just even put a beak in there. There we go. Okay. Right here. See these two fire slugs here? This is your go-to spot for smoldering butterflies. Kill these two guys. Up on your horse you go. And collect all the smoldering butterflies. Best farming spot for smoldering butterflies. Use those to make fire bone arrows, fire pots, all kinds of fun things. Fire grease. Okay. And we're going to discover another um, site of grace right nearby the War Master Shack, which is right down here momentarily. But first, let's put a marker here. Like this one here. There we go, so we can remember that there is a great place to, s to farm smoldering butterflies here. Next! There is an unmarked enemy camp in between these two kind of broken down buildings here. And on top of this building here is a beautiful high ground location that we could take to wipe out most of the camp just by sniping them with our, our new extra far reaching bow. So let's go there now. And at this camp is a beast crest shield that has 100% damage negation. It'd be way better than the shield we have. Okay, this this shield sucks. It only has 68 physical damage negation. We can get a better one. Let's go get it. Okay, right on top of this building here. There's also a lance here, but that's going to be... We probably won't be able to use it because we don't have enough strength. We can just double jump here. Here's the last. I think it requires 24 strength if I recall correctly. Twenty strength. So we'd need at least fourteen strength to to use this. And it's just not worth it. But we can sell it. But that's a good weapon. That's a fantastic weapon. That's what the guard, the boss at Gatefront use. Gatefront runes uses. But for now, we're going to use our bow and wipe out all these guys. Make sure you're right as close to the edge as possible. And target someone. Make sure they're not on the move. And do a mighty shot to do them in. This is probably not the best place to take it down, that guy. Let's go for this guy. And make sure you're right close to the edge so that you don't get that problem there where your arrow is bumping into the edge. There we go. Let's go for that guy. Should be able to one-shot them all. And even that dog there, if he doesn't go behind that flat, that banner. At a range we can't lock on. Yeah, what's going on? Hi there. You want some? Get some. This guy right here. That's the boss. Let's take out his doggies. <laughs> and now he's on the move, don't you? Wait till he plants. Preferably when his when his shields is down. And preferably when his back is to you. The 
He's got a death elite on us. There's nothing he could do. Ha 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 ha. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Slacks on the move in the group. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Ow! Just did. Dude, you can't trust this. Okay, let's look for other targets while we're waiting for him to plant. Like, for example, him there. What? Oh, watch it. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, be careful when you're playing it close to the edge here. He's backing straight up. We should be able to hit him. Down you go, doggy. Down you go. And I believe that's everybody on this side of the camp out. Let's see if we reach these guys. Beautiful. And you down there, you snooze, you lose. still somebody left because we haven't got the full refill yet at any rate the camp is totally chopped down to size let's get on down there with a sword and get our new shield watch out for stragglers and the shield is in here the Beast Crest Heater Shield. Fantastic shield. Places this piece of crap here. And as you can see, it has 100 physical damage negation. That means when we got the shield up and the enemy's doing physical damage, we will take no damage whatsoever. Fantastic doggy buster. Absolutely fantastic. The only problem is that it has the parry skill on it. We're going to get rid of that momentarily. First of all, let's finish off this camp. And lots of stuff to pick up here. Gotta watch out. There's somebody left. Maybe a dog. What did you guys give up? Thin beast bones, very good. And some Godric Knight Greaves. Well, here we go. Shit. Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> There's the guy. bumped into it. I thought he's like, you know. Okay, there's something over there. And there's always this exalted flesh here. This will give you 20% extra damage. It's kind of like a potion. What are you? Oh, you're nothing. Okay. Let's go find the scraggler. Somebody's... It's definitely somebody left because we didn't get the full refill. The bowl of smoldering butterflies. And it's this dog here. Stabby, stabby. Come here, mangy mutt. That's right. And there we go. There's the full refill. Wiped out the whole camp. Got himself a new shield. It's a wonderful thing. And everybody can go home and live, go home and live happily ever after. Okay, so we got the exalted flesh. We got the heater shield. Could be some more smoldering butterflies over this way.
if you're approaching the camp from this end, watch out for these alarms. They're hidden in the grass here. See this right here? See these two posts here? This is kind of like a chain in between. You go through, and it sets off the alarm. There's another one. Over. I think there's two more over here. If you do that, everyone will come running. So watch out for that. And that's it. Some gold tinged excrement here. Use that to make some gold tinged excrement soup. And let's push on through to the other end of the camp. And we're going to go up the left side here. To this location right here. Death touched catacombs. What say you? Unthinkable are a hallowed resting place is violated. To refuse our tree's call to return to live within death, sickening. Oh, the pain of it all. So in we go. In here is a second Uchi Katana. We can dual wield Uchi Katanas, and that is definitely on the agenda. However, this place is full of skeletons. Um, it would be best to have some holy damage before we take this place on. Okay, but at the very least, we discovered this side of grace. So we can come back here anytime we like. Let's get ready for this. And we can do that by simply going back to the Third Church of America. Turn to the north. Okay, and up that hill, part way up that hill is a teardrop scarab with the sacred blade ash of war on it. We want that. We can use that for death touch catacombs now. What we want is to want our sword up and running, or rather our bow. And it's gonna be dragonflies around there, so we're gonna have to work quickly. So we're gonna creep up the hill, shoot the scarab, and get the ash of war. Let's go. Don't get too close because you don't want to alarm it. There it is right there. Target. Whoops. Target. Mighty shot. And that should do it. Ash of War, Sacred Plate. Done and done. Alright, now, um, back to Storm Hill Shack. Like I said, we want to take the parry skill off. this shield. That's very important. There is a merchant. A Ash of War merchant right here. This is the War Master Shack. There's going to be some enemies on the way. We can take care of them, but we've got to get to that location. right there. These guys are tough hombres. There's two of them. Should be able to take them out easily with some fire arrows and we have some left. Actually I don't trust that they only have two left so, so let's let's use the batch of ten that we made. Basically, you want to make sure he's coming straight for you and be as far away from him as possible so to give yourself a chance to do as many shots as you can. Mighty shots. And... Down he goes. 
There you go. Trade three fire arrows for 282 runes. I think that's a good deal. Rinse repeat with this guy up here. We could actually sneak up behind him. We could like um, do what we did with the other guy. Yeah, let's do that. Use the Lord Sworn's greatsword. Two-handed. What'd you give up? Some fire arrows, great. Okay, let's get in the bushes over here. Okay, same deal. Sneak up, backstab, when he goes to the ground, jump, strong attack. Okay, let's go for it. Ah, shit. Turn it off. I'm done for it. Hey, Mr. Fumblefingers really screwed up there. Okay, we're going to have to take him down the hard way. <laughs> That's one thing about this game. Things go sideways so very quickly. This is just going to piss him off. Um. Okay, so that went sideways. We don't really need to kill him. Let's just get past him. And he'll reset once we get to Warmaster Shack, which is just up ahead, which is our ultimate destination anyways. That's what we wanted to do. Here's Warmaster Shack. Doggy Buster on. Bad doggy. Come here. And Meiji Mutt. Down you go. Bad doggy. Got any friends? Huh? Yeah, tell your friends. Okay. Interfere with my sight of grace, will you? Let's have a little rest, recharge everything. And let's go talk to. Just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of Grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? Yeah, I'd, I would say so. <laughs> yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished, like you. Okay, and let's exhaust this dialogue. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle. Lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword and the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle, to death itself. You don't say. Okay, so let's see what you got for sale. And this is what we want right here. The Ash of War, no skill. You can apply it to our shield and it will remove the parry skill, which means that our, it won't be overriding our weapon skill, and that's very important. Alright, so, one please. Thank you very much. That's all we want. And let's go to the side of grace. Click on Ash of War. Click on your shield and apply the no skill shield, or the no skill um, Ash of War. And now, our shield has no skill on it. 
which is great. So now it's just a perfect shield. 100% damage negation, no skill. And our rapier, its skill is in effect impaling thrust. And we can do stabbing through the shield. So we're all set up now. Beautiful. And while we're here, let's switch the skill on the rapier to sacred blade and use this to take on the skeletons in death touch catacombs you could put the sacred blade on the flail um, but the thing about the flail these skeletons in death touch catacombs they're really fast they're really fast and they skitter around a lot the thing about the flail is when you're using your shield, when you use the flail, he drops his shield. And that always leaves an opening for the skeletons. They can just chew you to pieces like that. So it's much better to use, I think, the rapier. Even though it doesn't do as much damage, you can stab through your shield. And we can also use its skill, which is now Sacred Blade. Press the skill button. Shoots out this kind of like this that which will instantly take down skeletons and our our rapier is now charged with 85 holy damage so that's what we're going to use to go through death touch catacombs which is first thing next video and we're going to lay our hands on a second uchi katana and once we're dual wielding uchi katanas whoa look out yeah Hey, that's it, boys and girls. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, if you knew what to do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss any of my great videos, and don't forget to comment. All right, see you next time. Hey, guys. Real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page, and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.